It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, Senor Stobart. What do you think of these panties, General? Oh boy, fabuloso! They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. I told you, I never heard of the guy. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get it? We picked it up in the market, as a souvenir. Take a look at this label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor, whoever he is. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. Do you know anything about the forthcoming eclipse, General? Such things do not interest me, Senor. I'll be back. Senor. Lita Chautalon. Do you have a map of Quaramonte? A map? I'm sorry, senor, but I don't. What about the one on the wall? Ah, that is an archaeological survey map, senor. Not suitable for tourists. I'll be back. I wasn't going to try. Hi, I'm George Stobart. Hello, senor. How can I help you? I'd like to visit your prisoner. Condemned prisoners aren't allowed visitors. Condemned? To death. He is to be executed. Knowing my luck, I will probably have to shoot him myself. Amnesty International is going to hear about this. I thought Miguel was arrested for playing the wrong kind of music. Si, senor, he was. And that carries the death penalty? No, no, no. You think we're crazy? While being questioned, he confessed to being an anti-government agent. Are there any ancient pyramids near Quaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in ruins. That's perfect. Would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general would have a feat if I left all this paperwork. I'm trying to get out of Quaramonte. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be able to buy back half my family. Never mind them. What about my visa? We don't take visa. I didn't ask if you take a visa. I want you to give me a visa. I can't help you, senor. I don't understand these things. Would you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? No, senor. If the general catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. Do you recognize this statue? The scantly book? The night wind? Take it away, senor. That stone is cursed. You know anything about this eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about most things. So long. 
filing cabinet was probably locked. Why did you show him the stone? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, he does now, for sure. He knows we have it. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes. It looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the General didn't want us to see it. You came on a little strong with the General. I was merely flattering his ego, Georges. Every man has his Achilles heel. Maybe. But that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? That man we saw talking to the general was Ubié. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubié, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Nah, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Quaramonte. Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, Georges? Sure, they're great. Guess what this is. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, Georges. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. Professor Ubier? Yes. Who are you? My name is Stobart, George Stobart. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. Maybe you don't, but I do. Why was she known as... The Little Dachshund? It was just a silly pet name I used to call her. Somehow some damned reporter found out. What do you know about my girlfriend's abduction? I don't know what you're talking about. She was invited to your mansion in Paris. Not by me, she wasn't. I haven't been home for nearly seven months. Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. You should, they're good. Mm, I can't get enough of these things. Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you get that? That's my business. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. Can you identify this statue, Professor? Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Darkness. A Central American god, right? A supreme deity. Tezcatlipoca means, literally, smoking mirror. There. You see the mirror shield in his left hand? The Mayans believed 
he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. He was the wind which came howling in the night in search of victims, and victims they gave him by the thousand. Human sacrifices? Men, women, children, animals, anything that bled. The steps of his temple ran red with the blood of sacrifices. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. Do you see this label? Yes. It refers to a company named Kondo. What of it? I traced that company here, to Cuaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. They went bankrupt recently. I have proof that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Cuaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. For the ancient Mayans, it marked the end of the Fifth Age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. The Fifth is the final age, ending in the total destruction of the Earth. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust Gwyneth implicitly. And why Marseille? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. Now what plot? I have no idea. Do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. No, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Cuaramonte. So the general is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Strictly strings and wood. Who's pulling the strings? His mother. Better known as La Presidenta, the dictator. Tell me about the general. You know, the guy in charge around here. We don't want to talk about him, senor. How come? No one can hear you. Well, only that old goat. In Cuaramonte, we have a saying. Don't tell your old goat what you don't want your wife to know. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. find any evidence of Condor's drug smuggling operations? Drugs? Hell no! Condor was a cover for the illegal export of Mayan artifacts. So who was behind Condor Transglobal? It was registered in the name of Edan. Did you get the guy? I don't think he ever existed. Edan backwards spells Nady, Spanish for nobody. 
Is Miguel the reason you're here? Pretty smart, George. I was supposed to make contact with him. By the time I found him, though, he was in jail. I've been trying to figure out a way to get him out since then. Sounds good to me. Count me in. Good man, George. All I need is a detonator. How come you brought a truckload of explosives but no detonator? Call me old-fashioned, but I say packing trunks is woman's work. I left the packing to Pearl and I can't find a darn thing. Just hope she remembered to bring my denture polish. I'd sure hate to arrive back in the States with tar on my teeth. Have you met the guy who calls himself the General? No, I haven't. Is he a real general? I guess so. He wears a lot of medals on his chest. The wrong side of his chest. At least, for any army I'd ever seen. Do you know where I could buy a detonator? Did Dwayne put you up to this by any chance? Oh, I get it. This is to detonate the truckload of explosives, right? Hey, come on, I was kidding. <laughs> Did you think I was serious? I know what you boys are like when you get together and make plans. Dwayne says he could solve all the world's problems if he had enough missiles. Catch you later, Pearl. Hey, Nico! I had nothing else I wanted to ask him. I'd asked him all I'd wanted to for now. Why don't you want the general at your party? Because if he comes, he'll bring those damned music albums from the 70s. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to Nico about at that time. Hey, Nico! Hola, senora. Hi. We were wondering... I was talking to the lady, chico. 
Hi, my name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia, how can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Do you have any kind of detonating device in stock? Sure. They're kept in that cupboard. I don't suppose you have one spare? I can't simply give you a device like that, no without a damn good reason. Have you heard of a man named Karzak? No, who is he? He's the reason we came to Cuaramonte. We think he's running a drug ring. Well, I hope you find him, but I've never heard the name before. Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mine closed down for good. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teoculcan. Do you know Professor Ubie? Yes. I understand he is about to embark on an archaeological expedition. He hired some equipment from me earlier today. I overheard him talking to the general. I think they're working together. What? If I'd known that, I wouldn't have hired out the equipment. Now, why would the general be interested in an archaeologist? The general has a chart in his office, which he was discussing with Ubier. Perhaps that chart will tell us where they're heading. Maybe, but I can't get anywhere near it while the general and his sidekick are there. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a smack in the mouth, Chico? Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which of their many gods it represents. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is Tezcatlipoca, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. Nice buns. Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. Hi. Good afternoon and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines, with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour of a mine. Well, this is a mining company. What else did you expect? I guess a mining company must use explosives, right? Not in the accounts and ledger section, to my knowledge. Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. Do you know where I could find senor Karzak? No, senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? She suggested it.
Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? I don't know. I've never seen one. All I know about eclipses is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please, go away and let me get on with my work. Do you know where I could find a detonator? Sure. The cupboard behind the boss. But she won't let you have it. I'll use my charm. This I gotta see. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. I'm looking for a detonator. Oh my, that's dangerous. I mean, are you qualified to handle those things? I don't know how you can work with explosives. I'd be too scared of blowing myself up. That's why I work in an office. Mind you, clerical duties are not as safe as you might think. You know those things you use to remove staples? You know, staple removers? Look, I sympathize, but I've heard enough of this crap. Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? No, sir. Did you know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about it. He's having a party and we're all invited. Me and the boys are dressing up as evil monks. Yeah? Cool. Do you keep detonators in the office? I don't know. I'm new here. In fact, I started this morning. I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Are you familiar with accounting software? Yeah, sure. Which package are you using? It's called Link. The guy who wrote it must be a lunatic. Every time I save a file, it plays a silly tune, and a little cartoon piglet dances across the display. So what's the problem? Well, none, I guess. But it's not what I'd expect from a professional accounting package. Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few weeks' time, isn't it? Nine days. Thanks. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? No. Could you distract the general while I took a look at that chart? You're kidding. Did you see the way he was leering at me? Yeah. You'd make a great snake charmer. Come on. Five minutes is all I need. Well, maybe. But it's your hellbrain scheme. You do the talking. I had no need. My girlfriend has a favor she wants to ask you, General. For you, my dear. Anything. I've changed my mind. Oh, no, you haven't. She's embarrassed about asking you for an interview, General. An interview? With me? Fabuloso! Well, I... Uh, I want to write a story about you. You hear that, Ronaldo? An exclusive glossy spread about your beloved general. Si, senor general. Look after things here. I'm going back to my apartment and I don't want to be disturbed. I'll get you for this, George Tobar. Don't worry. If you're gone for more than a couple of hours, I'll come and get you. A couple of hours? No, 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 senor. The general said nobody must see that chart. He won't know unless you tell him. 
<laughs> you don't know him, senor. He will worm it out of me as easily as he de-waxes his ear. Okay, okay. I'd have to get rid of him. Would you take my friend to the ruins now the general's gone? I'd be honored, senor. Thanks. I'll go get her. I've made the arrangements for your visit to the temple, Pearl. Oh, that's just great, George. Why don't you come too, honey? I'd love to, but right now I have to save the world. Listen, sweetie. I'm looking for an official guide to take me to the old pyramid. For a lovely lady, I would go to the ends of the earth. For you, I will go as far as the pyramid and back. But what about your husband? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Let's go, Beanpole. As Pearl and Ronaldo set out for the ruined pyramid, I prepared to search the police station. looked like a geological survey map showing the land to the southeast of Cuaramonte City. About 60 miles inland and upstream was an area marked Teoculcan. I couldn't reach the noose. I'm George Stobart. You're Miguel the musician, aren't you? Ex-musician, senor. My career is finished. Ah, going to jail could be the boost your career needed. Senor, I would rather die than live with this shame. Have you heard of a guy called Karzak? Yes. The old man spoke of him. The foreigner? Professor Ubier? That's right. This man Karzak is Ubier's boss. Why is that noose hanging from the bars? Ronaldo strung it up for me to hang myself. Don't cry for me, Senor Stubbard. When I am dead, the goddess will take my soul to rest in paradise. There was nothing I wanted to 